Hi, everyone. As you join, uh, don't forget to add uh, your name to the uh, list uh, of attendees on the Google Doc. I've posted a link to that document uh, here in the chat. I'm also hoping that we can get uh, at least one or ideally two people to sign up as scribes. Um, this will probably be a pretty easy meeting to be a scribe for because I think uh, we're only going to have a few quick topics, it looks like, on the agenda. So if um, anyone uh, has been hesitant about being a scribe before or concerned about that process, then now is probably a good starter meeting to jump in. Yeah, I, I can I can do the scribe, but uh, I'll need a couple of more minutes to uh, jump on the laptop to open up the doc. Okay. Um, while we wait for other people to come in, and it looks like Ash is going to be able to help describe in the meantime. Uh, so why don't we start with our updates then? So um, JJ, why don't you go ahead and go first? Yep, so um, we had uh, we had a meeting with the TOC in terms of like trying to identify projects for assessment. I think we got a consensus in the in the sense of what we have. Um, one thing we'll be sensitive to is uh, if there is a if there is not a, a clear agreement of uh, taking a project from. TOC standpoint, I think that's a clear no from putting in effort and investment on that. But otherwise, we'll do it on a case-to-case -case basis in terms of consulting with TOC. So that's the sort of the understanding that we walked away with from uh, Joan Liz. Other than that, uh, uh, I have this pending task of uh, working with uh, Harvard to bring all the policy document into our repo. I'll uh, try and work through that with them. Yeah, if there's an open issue there. What people should expect and see for is like one single place where they can see things about six security and then different working groups within six security for different areas of the problem, right? So assessment, policy, and dot dot dot. So that's that's mostly the update that I have. Okay. Great. Um, I think I'm next on the list, uh, besides Christian, who I think isn't going to give an update. Um, Christian, is that correct? Okay. So uh, I, I had a, we've been working on a few things related to Tuffin and Toto. Um, just to keep it really brief, we're working towards graduation of Tuff. I think we're just waiting for the TOC to call a vote on that. And um, Intoto is uh, moving increasingly closer to incubation. So we should also um, have something in front of the TOC for that in the not too distant future uh, in the next few weeks, hopefully. And uh, we'll be able to present it at an upcoming meeting. Okay, uh, Mark. Hey guys, uh, nothing too new from the NIST Big Data Working Group. Uh, although we do have approval from NIST for volume four on security and privacy. So should be an official announcement sometime before the end of the year. I'm gonna put into the chat the a request for review of the key management document from 
NIST. That's something that uh, I don't know if we talked about too much in this group, but it's something we should keep on our radar. That's it for me. Great, Amy. I think I'm next. Um, so conversations about the SIG Security Day. Um, I do not yet see Michael Ducey on the call. Actually, I'll just bring him over slide of his, some of his updates. Um, so we have a uh, update on our room. We've been able to get the bigger room, and I believe we will be capped at 200 for registration. So this is all good news. And there is a list. Have I still all, all of your thunder? No, it's fine. I have other. <laughs> okay, good. That was all, everything for me. Since you're already you're already talking, go ahead. Yeah, sure. Uh, so yes, we're we have a wait list running for the Six Security Day as well. So if you weren't able to get in, uh, make sure you add yourself to the wait list. I want to say we'll have probably about forty tickets we're able to release once we confirm the setting for the larger room. Uh, on other news, I'm working on uh, should be submitting probably later today the pull request to request. Uh, Falco incubation. Um, it's been really exciting kind of putting together the presentation and um, kind of going through and beginning the process of the due diligence to see kind of how much we've grown over the last two years as I worked on the project. So that's been fun. Um, but we should be sending that in and then we're presenting on the CNCFTOC call next week uh, on Tuesday. Uh, so if you want to join that call and uh, lend your support to the project, we would appreciate it. Great. Thank you very much. I'm glad to hear that's moving along. Uh, Ash? Uh, no updates for this week. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Brandon? Hi. Um, so, a couple of dates more from like the security and of what I'm doing. Um, the container, the support for container encryption was merged like two weeks and was released in 1.3. So um, at some point, I will write something about it and maybe give a demo to the group. Um, other than that, uh, my group has been exploring um, Intel SCCL libraries. This is kind of like um, something new that Intel has been working on that builds on top of TPM. So originally it was Intel TXT, but now they are extending the interfaces um, beyond that to provide better security management. So if anyone's um, looking at that as well or is curious about that, I'd be happy to chat. Great. Uh, Tommy. Is this a fake name? Did somebody add this in? It uh, looks like we have a... Oh, there we go. Uh, Mike, uh, we already got you. Uh, Gareth. Yep. Hi, all. Uh, Manage just catching up. I've been traveling for several weeks, too long. Um, I'm, uh, go I'm not traveling for the next month, so I have got some bandwidth to do some bits and pieces. Uh, Michael, if you, if you need any final bits for the Falco uh, presentation, like due diligence or numbers gathering for anything, let me know. Um, or if okay. there's things that would be useful for the SIG security stuff, I can definitely help out a bit in the next month. Great, thank you. Okay, and then we have uh, quite a few on the call who uh, didn't put their names in and didn't give an update. Um, does anyone want to give an update who hasn't yet done so? I'm sorry, I was I was late, um, it's just in here. Uh, just uh, if anyone's interested, we just open sourced some very early code we've been working on with ARM yesterday uh, for um, uh, management of uh, hardware security devices and encryption, so TPM and um, other related things. So um, the project's called Parsec, and uh, it's very early stage, but it's, uh, we're working on a bunch of integrations with, for example, with Spiffy for that, um, and it might be of interest to people in the cloud native space, so ping me if you're interested. Sounds interesting. Um, okay, anyone else want to go and give an update? Okay, uh, hearing none, we'll move on to the check-ins from our partner SIGs and working groups. Um, 
So we already heard uh, a little bit from Mark about the NIST Big Data Working Group. Does anyone from any of the other working groups here uh, want to go and give a status update? All right, um, so we'll go ahead and move on. Um, the next thing on here, I think uh, JJ you can probably say more. Was this what was what you discussed in part for uh, during your update, or is there something else that needs to be said? Um, yeah, this is the one that I uh, gave part of the update, and uh, I think there is clarity in terms of like what we want, what we want to pick. Uh, for the next set of projects and uh, uh, some understanding in terms of like when we say no to a project. Okay, um, so that takes us to the end of our listed agenda items. Does anyone else have an item that they want to discuss or is there something else that we need, should go into more detail about? Um, one thing, sort of volunteer, uh, Ash here. Uh, I think Ash and Sarah presented OPA to TOC for review. So if there is any update on that or if there is any summary of that that can be shared with this team. Uh, for the people that didn't attend TOC, that'll be useful. Uh, so we presented the assessment done for OPA uh, as well as the review of the assessment as done by the uh, review team. Uh, we have we presented a single slide, uh, we can link to that. And also we have a PR open, uh, which we linked to last week in the, in the comments, where people can add their comments and uh, give us any feedback. So that's pretty much we are waiting on right now. Any feedback from the community on that PR related to the assessment itself, as well as the review. Justin, if you want, you can add more to this. No, that, that's my understanding as well. That was, yeah. And I, I do I do want to say that I think that for those who weren't there, and also I think we discussed this last week, but I think the, the process of having the project, uh, someone from the project, like Ash in this case, present part of it, and someone from the assessment team, which was Sarah in this case, present part of it, actually worked very well. So... Um, if you didn't get a chance, you can actually go look up the video and, and see how, how that went. But I, I think we'll probably continue with that um, structure for, for future assessments. Okay, um, I think, Michael, I think you had something you wanted to bring up? Yeah, um, we, um, we're we undergoing something new. We're calling it the, um, I'll share my screen in just a second, let me pull it up. Um, we're calling it the security hub or maybe the cloud, of course, a dog starts barking as I start presenting, right? Uh, so it's called the cloud native security hub. And the idea is that you can kind of have, it's kind of like the operator hub, if you've seen the operator hub. And with this, the idea is that you can have Falco rules, but also you could have things like pod security policies, um, other kind of definitions um, of these, you know, different abstractions that you have in the security world in, in cloud native. And then you can go and just download the thing. And then for the Falco rules right now, we're just using Helm. Uh, and with the Falco Helm chart, if you already have the Falco Helm chart installed, you can just run a Helm upgrade and pass in the rules. Um, but then we're also thinking of for Falco or maybe going down the route of building like a CTL tool. So like maybe Falco CTL to manage the rules or some other tool like that. And I'm gonna pause and take a breath while people can comment and I can get this dog to be quiet. <laughs> um. So I'll come in and say that there's been some conversations recently in the uh, Open Policy Agent uh, Slack and community generally about shared content and centralized shared content. Um, so that might fit. It might be an interesting conversation about how that would work with uh, like Rego as well. Yeah, because we could uh, we could store those the exact same, the, the regular files up here in the security hub. 
Um, we could even have things like uh, a place for like admission controllers and the validating with hooks and stuff like that. Um, that you can have a centralized location, at least where you can find them all, right? And it, I, I, even I, it being a directory is useful. Yeah, I also like the generic security hub. Uh, conversations today, partly for me, on the in SIGAP delivery about like operator hub and Helm hub, uh, and the risk of having like it's sort of like from an application standpoint. Oh, wh where do I go get to my get my applications for Kubernetes? And the answer is it's spread out. And there's talk of Operator Hub being part of C uh, CNCF, and then there's suddenly just two of them within under the same banner. So this yeah. being generic, um, at the same time as for security related CNCF projects, sounds like better than the alternative of like Falco Hub and uh, right. a policy agent yeah. hub. And, and like we've we've been down this road here, it's like with the, <laughs> the chef supermarket and whatever puppets module repository yeah. is called. Um, yeah. Also related, uh, the OCI artifact, uh, sort of well, basically spec edition. Um, there's a distribution of content via OCI images, and so backing things off like this from basically registries. Yeah. as a generic sort of thing is possibly interesting to explore later, but the, that's basically an implementation detail to the front end. Yeah, and there's there's yeah. no reason why we wouldn't, maybe that's the route we go and we use that OCI yeah. spec for content delivery. Um, uh, I'm, maybe we yeah. integrate Grapheus for yeah. uh, verification of artifacts and things like that. Uh, yeah, I'm super happy to, uh, if you, if, if, is this up now? Yeah, it's up now, oh, cool. um, and also the code um, is, the code is out there. And one of the big things that we need help with right now is uh, design. And I've asked them to fill out this readme because this yeah. is not helpful in how you drive contributions. Yeah. So I asked them to fill out this readme to where we can start adding in. Uh, so people can have an understanding of what we need and the direction we want to take the project. Yeah. Uh, I, I'll ping some, I'll ping Tarn and others in the Open Policy Agent project yeah, where well, we've Ash been having some conversations. Ash is on as well. So, and oh, we have cool. a kind of separate conversation going on with um, Torin about another thing that we're, we're looking at doing. I'll drop these in the chat. Excellent. Though. That sounds great. Any other comments? I uh, would appreciate to hear if anyone has any other thoughts. I think it will be great to, I mean, it's it's a great tool, and I think it would be great to uh, have a, have it open to other types of tools, you know, OPA is one of them, but then there may be many other security tools that may have rules, so. Yeah, yeah. And I think with, the, like, the pod security policies, that's one of the challenges is that people don't understand all of the settings if they're not one of those experts at that low level. And so having it a place where the users and the experts can collaborate and pull something that somebody's contributed that we know that would work or something like that <clears throat> could be useful. Right. Uh, Michael, this looks great to me. Uh, is there like, are we going to move this to like the six security repo so that everybody else can contribute under this project or it's going to remain with Falco? What's, what's the direction there? Uh, I think that's a, that's a great thing that we should probably talk about or should we just get a security hub Falco and then we can invite people from the different projects who want to contribute and be maintainers of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I think that's probably uh, the direction we would want to take if, if people are interested in contributing. Yeah, I think similar to how the uh, supply chain compromise situation was handled, I think that is being moved over. We at least that would be something that would I think be a model that maybe the chairs or others should discuss is like what's the way that we should take resources like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. So maybe. That's something, I don't know, to be surfaced as an agenda item next week after everybody's had a chance to think through it. Yeah, I mean, that would be an interesting thing is that if it be a SIG security sponsored project or backed project and then members of SIG security from the different 
CNCF projects could contribute to it. Um, that's by, um, I mean, we'd be happy to talk about that route, but then it just being an independent thing that all the projects work on together, we're happy with that as well, so. Makes sense, yeah. I'll take an action item to uh, discuss this and uh, and then bring, bring it up for discussion to the group next week, as Justin suggested. Yeah, great. All right. Um, sorry, did I, I didn't mean to cut somebody off. Was someone about to say something? No, no, I was just uh, commending on uh, the, this initiative to Michael. Uh, just, that's it. Like, you, you can cut that off anytime because it's just Michael. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Thanks. Okay. Hey, um, <laughs> Does anyone else have anything that they'd like to add as an agenda item or discuss? That's Mark here. So <clears throat> pardon my cold. Uh, a friend of mine was I going to join last week and I missed last week. So it looks like from the notes, he didn't show up. Uh, he's working with somebody in the open telemetry group. And I wondered if any of us have already contacted them because there's, you know, connection to what we're doing for security logging and forensics and they're trying to move that group forward as I understand it. Nope, all new? Okay, I'll try to get him to show up. Okay, um, great. So anything else? So hearing nothing other than my Slack keep pinging me about things, I think uh, we've discussed the items we have for this week. So thanks to everybody for coming and look forward to talking to people next week. Thanks, Justin. Thanks for uh, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers, everyone.